Hello friends and welcome to this new video. So we look recently sent me this Touch 41 smart lock in order to share my thoughts with you. But as always, I will give you my honest opinion. So let's dive into this one. So first you see the package. This is the Touch ID 41 fingerprint smart lock with the Wi-Fi gateway. So on the first side, we don't really see any mention of the Wi-Fi gateway but we look assured me that it is inside the pacifics so now let's open the box so so here we have the leaflets for the gateway and we have the manuals for the smart lock itself so the manual comes in german english french Italian and Spanish. And there it is, the Touch 41 fingerprint smart lock. So this little beauty is really strong. I will share a video with you where you can see how it is tested in the laboratory. So this little baby is really strong and can handle a lot of pressure as you can see in this lab video. It detects fingerprints in only 0.5 seconds and you can open your door in only a second. Installation should only take about three minutes. So the size adapts to your door but really assure yourself that your door meets the uh, requirements because as this knob is quite big there should be enough place between the cylinder and your door in order to open the door. The materials are really nice. This part goes on the outside, of course, where you put your fingerprint. It is IP rated, so it can handle rain. Specifics of the cylinder itself. It's ID for the application and this knob goes on the inside. So when I turn the knob on the inside, I will lock, lock or unlock the door. If I turn on the outside, as you can see, nothing happens until it recognizes my fingerprint and then this will turn with the knob as well. On the outside, behind the QR code, we have a little mini USB charging port and this is whenever you fell without batteries, you can use a power bank to provide the lock with power. So that is really well told off. There's a little reset button as well, but no panic. It doesn't reset your smart lock to fabric settings. It only will reboot the device whenever needed. So as you can see, WeLock is a German based company that makes really good quality smart locks. They have a smart lock with a keypad and now they also have this fingerprint one. I really like the fingerprint ID as it is quick, intuitive, and you can add a lot of fingerprints. But you can also open the door with the add of these cards. Such kind of card is really easy to give to your kid or the babysit that they hold on the smart lock and it will open as well. And we have the box with some installation tools. And last but not least, we have this little gateway that of course goes with this USB cable. It should be located close to your door, so approximately within five meters of your smart lock in order to communicate throughout Bluetooth with your smart lock. Thanks to this gateway, you can control and monitor your smart lock wherever you are. So if you're not in Bluetooth range, you're not at home, you're not on your own Wi-Fi network, you can still see the status of your lock control the settings and even give access to someone. So further on in this video, we're going to do the setup. We're going to install it on the door and now we do some real life testings. If you would prefer to skip directly to another chapter, please feel free to with the chapters in the video description. You can also find some great discount vouchers in the video description. Please check it out just down here. So the manual first shows you your door and the sizes that are required. Now 
And as you can see, the manual is really nicely made and can be clearly understood. So let's take the tool to open the smart lock. And we loosen this screw. You can see that we can completely take this knob off in order to install the cylinder onto the door. And then we can place it back on and attach it on the distance according to the thickness of the door itself. When we do this on the other side, We can slide this part off and then you can see the battery compartment. And once it is done, we can open the battery compartment. There it is. So we have to place in three AAA batteries like this. So there's one like this. The second one goes like this. And the third one goes like this. Now it's all up really nice. We can close this cover again. Before closing up with the metal cover, you can also use this hole in order to adjust the length of this side of the smart lock. So just loosen up a little bit. And here you can see it adjusts as well to the side of your door. So I'll leave this like this for now. Install this on my door and then we can set the right size on both sides of the smart lock. So let's test its reaction speed. So it is really fast. I'm impressed. Good job, we lock. In the box, we also have some spare parts. Really nice. Before we're going to install the smart lock on the door itself, we're going to register our fingerprint. It can handle 100 fingerprints and three of them are the admin. So you always need the admin fingerprint in order to change something. So for that, we press and hold the set button for five seconds. So there's now one admin registered. And see it opens and turns. Now try another finger that isn't registered. Finger not recognized. Now let's add this finger. So for that we have to press the set button for five seconds. to authorize and here you can see all the settings I want to add a user and finger ID is registered so it is number four as the four the first three are the admins. So now let's install this lock on the door itself. So for the installation itself, you can use the little screwdriver that is that you can find in the box. And you simply undo this screw. And then you can pull out the cylinder. So now we can put the new lock in, but just make sure that you make note of the ID 
in order to, to couple it to the application. So we slide this all the way against the door and simply use the allen key in order to tighten the screw and fix it in place. So now with that in place, we can put the silicon plug over it. And last but not least, the nice metallic cover. Now we're going to use those tiny screws that we place on top of the Allen key. And now it is all nice and closed in on the outside. So of course this part is waterproof, bully proof, you can really hit it with a hammer and nothing will happen. And you really need the admin fingerprint in order to access anything or to change some settings. Therefore we simply slide it over with the knob for the finger on top. And we fix this one as well. And you can see I can open and close my door as if there was a key and on the outside nothing will happen until and now it's loose again. Now you can see what it means on the outside. You can see it turns without any action. And I have to say it looks glossy. Of course it sticks out and you can directly see that there is a smart lock, but it doesn't stick further out than the handle itself. So let's close the door now. And I'm in really quick. So in worst case scenarios, you can unscrew and put in new batteries, or you can even plug in a power bank in order to give it enough power to unlock your door. So that's a quite unique feature. Now you can also add these RFID cards and it can handle up to 20 cards. And here the idea is that you simply hold this card on top and it unlocks as well. So let's add this card. Therefore I have to press and hold five seconds. Authenticate. Then I have to choose add a card. Let's lock the door. Let's see, it turns free now. Now let's open it with the card. And there you go.
I can check for my devices. So here I can check my device, so I can see the battery level, I can connect, like see now it's opened, or I can, and now it locks again. Of course here you can see that all the actions, like adding a card, adding a user, are way easier than on the smart lock itself. Here I can see a user, I can add an administrator, I can add a visitor, I can even set time frames within they can use the lock itself, so I can check everything that I need. So now we are going to add a Wi-Fi box. So my kit came with the Wi-Fi box, I think it is important to connect your smart lock to the internet, so you can access and monitor your smart lock every time, everywhere. This little box is simply connected to a USB and then a power plug. So here not far from away I have a power plug. So now it has power and we have to press for three seconds the set button again with the Allen key. So just put it in and push three seconds. And now it is in pairing mode. So we go to the application and we have to add a device, we add a gateway and it found my gateway. I'll leave it for this like now. Here I set my Wi-Fi settings. When the connection is successful the green light goes on and here you can see the green light is on. So my gateway is connected right now. Now we can access all those settings even if we're not at home through mobile internet which access the smart lock through the gateway. So when we take a look at the application itself here we have the basic menu so the settings here you can choose your language, set the team, read the agreements, lock setting here you can Transfer the authority to someone else and upgrade your lock itself. Authorization management. You can add or delete users. You can see your cards or delete a card. Here you can delete fingerprints. You can change the PIN code. I can see the unlock history. Set the time of the, the lock itself, put on factory reset, and I can see for help as well. So my overall thoughts of this smart lock. The quality looks really nice with these metals. Personally, I'm not really a fan of the smart lock part sticking out and everybody can see that you have a smart lock. The other way, I think it is really quick and a really unique feature that you can always plug in a power bank in order to give it the power that you need to unlock if it has dead batteries. The usage is quite simple. The application itself needs some extra explication, I think, but maybe within a couple of weeks of usage, you get used to it. The basic functions are quite easy, adding user, adding a card, deleting a card. I miss an option to have notification whenever the smart lock is used. I don't think it is in the application right now. The smart lock is Alexa enabled, it will be Google Home enabled soon. There is no HomeKit support though. So if you're interested in this smart lock, if you buy the kit like me with the smart lock and the gateway, it costs 239 euros. But if you use the reduction codes that I put in the video description, it only costs you 189 euros and 10 cents. So you make almost a benefit of 50 euros. If you buy them separate, the smart lock comes at 189. With my reduction voucher, it is at 136 euros. And the gateway costs 59 euros. And with my reduction voucher, it costs 53 euros. So let me know in the comments what you think about this smart lock. And don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the very next video. Bye bye.